I got a question for you. What's up? Where do you think you rank amongst these girls? You think you was one, two, or three? I I don't even know, it's, honestly. It's definitely a ranking. Would you just give I you? I mean, in my heart, I want to believe that I was one, but I don't know. This man ain't never commented under my picture calling me his wife. You're two. <laughs> <laughs> or three at this point. I'm You're just two. like, dang. What's good, y'all? Welcome to Crash Dummies episode 76. I'm Mike. That's Pat. Um... A lot of new listeners here. Make sure y'all subscribe to YouTube. Uh, shit, that's all you can really subscribe to. We got a Patreon ad-free episode. Video episode comes out early. And I think you can listen on audio. So y'all got to let me know if that works or not. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Big news. By the time this podcast comes out, because we didn't sign actually sign the dotted lines yet. We just signed a deal, and we'll probably go into more Tell details. The label, no deal. We'll be signing a deal, though. We probably sound like a 360, and we don't know it, but it's all right. Definitely a 360. <laughs> they said they got to smack Mike in the booty every episode. <laughs> that boy always comes on and tries to, what's the, what's the word, emasculate me? <laughs> That's what you're trying to do. That boy, swear he went to Harvard. I did. You've been using a lot of big words lately. I realized that in a meeting. I'm like, bro, who this dude think he is talking crazy? I'm like, go talk to him. That's how I talk to clients, though. Mike said, eh, I would just like an extra Mountain Dew every episode, and that's <laughs> enough pay for me. I said, damn, he's spitting. I never, I've never drank. All I got was a Capri Sun. Damn, Capri Suns. I, the, so much potential. They need to put that shit in a bottle. You think it you tastes think, different? You if they put it in a can? Yeah, they no? had it wrapped in aluminum foil. It's definitely going to taste different. It's so traditional though. But then they would have to actually put more Capri Sun How in the damn pouches. How you drink a Capri Sun? Lunchables. What do you mean? How you drink a Capri Sun? The same way you brush the back of your teeth. Uh, the brush. Uh, <laughs> How do you drink a Capri Sun? <laughs> huh? How do you drink a Capri Sun? Pour it in the cup and drink it. You don't drink it out the little thing. I'm about to catch me sucking on that thing. Y'all be. <laughs> I'll <Not me. laughs> be going crazy on them. Oh! <laughs> I do though. No, you go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. Welcome to uh, Crash Dummies episode seventy six. Um, what else we got? What do we got? What do we got today? Nothing. Nothing. What if we just sat here for and and just said nothing for an hour I mean, until like the listener call? I, no, no uh, <laughs> Brittany Griner home. Yeah, she home. Brittany Griner home. Everybody was pretty mad about. Oh, some people. I'm gonna say everybody. We, we traded her for the Merchant of Death in a first round pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wasn't just, nah. Oh, straight up trade. Yeah, straight, straight up. up trade. Hey, the thing about it is that it's one. I'm thank God she's home. Um, the blessings. It's crazy that I didn't know when they really did the exchanges that they literally like meet at a neutral spot. Both people walk past each other. Yeah. Like, I'm like, holy shit. There's some real, like, the movies <laughs> wasn't lying. Yeah. <laughs> they really do exchange. There were snipers up in the building. Yeah. You didn't even know. I promise you there were snipers from, from both sides up there. Ain't that crazy? No, they came. I think they they were in some Middle Eastern state. They're not doing that. No, for sure. It wasn't no clean and shame. It was definitely some snipers. Right there. <laughs> you think we were ready? Hey, I couldn't be in that position. <laughs> I was like, man, I saw his ass move. That's why yeah. I shot. <laughs> my fault. You fucked up the trade. I know I fucked up. Yeah. But dude, looking at my scope and shit, but people like were saying people were saying that they should have brought back the Marine and stuff like that. But yeah. from what I'm hearing is the Marine should have hooped. <laughs> Chill. But, like hey i don't know who to save but whoever got the best hezzy gets to go home <laughs> fuck <laughs> reading guy time i said like, okay let's see yours but he lose the ball he lost yeah, well yeah. i heard he wasn't even in like enlisted when that he went over there but the other thing was that i heard that <laughs> damn shots no, no no i'm just saying <laughs> like he might i'm just no, saying i don't know if he was on Marines, no for sure Respect, but I always gotta say it before you. Yeah, because be, only one of us can get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> They're not gonna cancel me. What Whoa! Trying to, so you uncancelable? I don't think I haven't said anything to be. I, All right, go ahead. Go I ahead. have a really I'm good social media. Story. I'm sidetracking. You are side. Russia was already saying that they were never giving them up, like no matter what. So it was at that point where it was either none of them or one of them. And everybody, the merchant of death dude was about to get out in prison in like four years. So it was like one of those things. Oh, where he only had four years left. He only had four, I think he's like he did like fifteen out of like the nineteen years or some shit like that. So he was about to get out eventually. The thing and the thing about America, we're the only ones that play it straight up when it comes to like the jail system mm -hmm. or the prison system. As far as not with black people, I'm saying as far as like foreign. I don't know who they actually got locked up, but the people that are publicly locked up, America gives them a free trial. Like we gave Osama bin Laden a trial, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? And El Chapo. What do you need a trial for? 
A tri- get- that's different. No, Chapo different. I'm talking about Osama bin Laden, bro. Yeah. They gave him a trial. No, no, not Osama. I was about to say. Who they give a trial to? Uh, Maybe Saddam. I don't Saddam, know. Saddam. Yeah, yeah, Saddam. I tripped, yeah. I tripped. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you cook. I'll let you cook. <laughs> I don't think the other one made it out. <laughs> Imagine getting caught in your... They caught him in a cave. But I'm going out in the mansion. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> caught that boy sitting on the toilet. Uh, they but, made, my bad. They made Britney Grinder cut her locks in prison. Her what? Her, what? her uh, hair. Lot, yeah, <laughs> lots. Oh, yeah, her lot said, You just like exposed your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, no, nah. <laughs> damn, we had him in it yeah. this whole time. Yeah. This whole time, he white. We started not playing, yeah. he not white. Yeah. Hey, no, but she cut her, they made her cut her hair because uh, it was freezing her hair. Yeah, so she said she cut it on her, her own. I didn't know that. I just found that out. That's because she she cut it before she thought she thought she's gonna be in there for a minute. Oh, she cut it on her own. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess when you know it got so cold and her braids, or she took a shower, her locks would like freeze. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad she helped, but she fucked herself up. God damn. Imagine yeah, doing that and then say, "Oh, y'all, you can leave now." Like, bruh. I just mad she tried to fade the shit. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> you, you you have to do anything when you're over there, man. I'm glad she home, but <laughs> just take. You want the dress off? Just cut the dress off. Keep a fro. She tried to fake. No, that she, shit. I think she went. She went too low to look kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a different person at first when I saw the little trade. I was yeah. like, wait, where Brittany at? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. I was like, oh, they trying to they trying to trick us. I was like, oh no, they trying to trick us. He tried to cover his tracks, y'all. No, no, no. Uh, I'm being uh, serious because I didn't know she cut her hair at that point. <laughs> you can't diss BG. No, I'm not dissing crazy. BG. No, I know you're not. <laughs> Damn, that yes. boy. Is... <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. No, bro. Stop. I'm sorry. Everything don't have to be a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. When somebody gets to talking like that, <laughs> get the pill bottle away, sir. <laughs> it's not a fucking joke, man. Oh, man. What else we got? Uh, there's an article that just dropped. From Daily Loud, 41 Minutes, uh, Texas Republican. <laughs> I got, you know, I got a shout out the yeah, source. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Texas Republican proposes bill banning children under 18 from social media. So they're comparing it to like social media to cigarettes and shit. So, yeah. Wait, so in Texas, they're trying to pass a law that said people under 18 can't watch social media? Yeah, they got to be 18 to be on social media. So That's Whoa. not going to work. Yeah, I don't think so either. No, that's definitely... But I, I, I can... <sighs> Hell no. The the reason it people will start I think stuff like that will get people to move out of Texas. Because if you take that step, like what's your next step? You're telling people that they can't control what they can control in their household. Like social media is not like a gun. Yeah. Or drugs. But I think You're telling I me think, my kid can't be on the internet. But I think they're saying that because uh I haven't even read that article, but my guess would be like suicide suicide rates and stuff like that been on the uprise as you never watched that thing social experiment whatever yeah, okay yeah, yeah. so right. i think that might be like a correlation like all right to the curve this rate of suicide maybe we should cut them off it's but I the mean, thing about this good way that'd be a really good way there's to just it. no way to cut off internet from people like how are you going to prove that you're what age people have been lying to get into different sites their whole life they hire different uh, you know when those sites be saying that are you <laughs> you can't the sites say are you 18 plus are you older than 18 right i don't know i Anybody said no asked, one time you did they do i was being honest i was like nah but they man they let you right back into the site <laughs> just type it in again they did mention the process though to like to verify their age is they'll use a photo id which Bro. Which also allows it's twenty twenty three, damn near. So it's yeah, like it's none of that shit happened. Right, you piss. I mean, people get into bars they ain't twenty one. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? The internet? You don't need to show a fake at home. Yeah. Should I ain't even gotta steal my mama fake? It's right in her damn purse. <laughs> you used to take your mom's fake, huh? You used to take your mom's fake ID. Yeah, and cover the top of her uh, head. <laughs> we look just alike without the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Take that shit off. You look just like, like damn, that is you. Like, yeah, what you do to your hair? And shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what's wrong with dudes. They always stealing their daddy fake. You don't look like your daddy because that ain't your daddy, nigga. <laughs> Mama lied to you. Your daddy's a bum. <laughs> this is your stepdad, Rory, has a factory job. He's doing well. $18 an hour. Your dad was a crackhead. He's an upgrade. <laughs> We saved you. You wouldn't be in college right now if you knew the shit your daddy did. He sucked his dick. No, I'm just <laughs> what? That was a, a extreme plot twist. I I got no 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 no. But I got one more thing to say. <laughs> Go ahead. You know how they gonna find out when if people uh if under eighteen year olds watch social media? What? It's gonna be sending spies, bro. Spies. Yeah. 
They're going to send a spy and just be like, <laughs> that fucking video where he was like, ha, got him. They be like, yeah, I see that shit too. Okay, you under arrest, little nigga. <laughs> yeah, undercover cop. What video you saw? <laughs> a new dance come out? Hey, how y'all know how to do that? Huh? <laughs> where y'all see that dance at? <laughs> yeah, it's like they're saying cutting kids off on the internet in general. That's yeah. not possible. I mean, but yeah, that if that's the... I feel like there's a lot of other things they should try first besides cutting off people's social media. Like, you know, making sure every kid has a good home first. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just out there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just out there. Making sure all kids got free therapy. They're just... Because anyway. you, know you know, anything that's free, I always tell people anytime it's a clinic or, hey, this therapist free... Or, oh, this lawyer free, we provide, you know, they ass. <laughs> to be something for free, yeah. I know they getting paid, mm -hmm. right? But for people not to pay you is crazy, bro. You're getting paid by the government, though. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> you probably need to go to therapy. When you get brain surgery, nobody insurance can cover brain surgery. Says who? All the way. Says who? Well, you got to have some top tier ass. Yeah. Most people coming out of pocket somewhat, okay. right? Because so. he expensive. If I come to you, I ain't got no respect for you. But the, the cost has nothing to do with the, the doctor. Unless no, 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 no. You ain't spending that money. <laughs> Your copay coming out free. Do not have a heart attack in front of that man. <laughs> that uh, money going to be changed. Hey, you going to be having a heart attack. He'll be like, damn, you did tear your ACL. <laughs> like, damn. I think I just deleted something. I got a question for you, though. <laughs> Would you rather talk to your blood relative from 400 years ago or 100 years in the future? We got to be 400 years ago. <laughs> what you going to say to them? Man, I'm about to get the best speech of all time. That's going to be the best halftime speech they ever got. <laughs> Listen, I know we down, right? Score ain't looking good. Put down them damn Bibles. Stop singing them damn songs. About to get busy on these boys. Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to show them a picture of a young boy and be like, look, y'all. Knees down. Oh, <laughs> hey, that'd be crazy. Like, you went back in town with your ancestors, what you do? <laughs> Show them why why be better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll give them like, oh, this there he might be right. If you show them proof. That why be better? No, this proof of why be in, in lavish clothing. Oh yeah, that's true, right there. <laughs> that's motivation enough. <laughs> Look, y'all, Stevie Wonder really ain't blind. That's what I came back to tell y'all. It was like liar. who? <laughs> oh shit, wrong generation. <laughs> <laughs> Just go back to hate on everybody. Why are you gripping your mic like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was not. That was really crazy. You were really gripping the shit out that mic because I had it like this. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that man was gripping the shit out that That's mic. That's a wild thing to be looking at. It's a man, another man. Because you don't have. There's a mic stand. You don't have to touch the mic. I bet you that's what you. You want to. You want to show me. You were doing it with no hands this whole time, but you want to make sure <laughs> that's what you were doing. Man, pause, mic. <laughs> no, how's that pause? Man, You're man. looking to you, still touching the damn mic. <laughs> touching mic. Let it go, bro. Well, they know. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> it's, bro, I'm trying to spin it. Let it go, man. <laughs> little freak this, ass. It has Come none. On. Let it go. This has nothing to do with me. It's about you right that now. That boy bro. be watching how people open up doors. Like, damn, strong grip you got there. <laughs> I be watching people the way they open up doors. Yeah, you watch their grip. That boy a grip watcher. <laughs> Audio listeners, whenever y'all want to jump, Pat, just let me know. <laughs> Imagine I'm I'm like, hey Pat, come over, bro. And then the whole house, whole house full of audio listeners. Oh, <laughs> All right, Pat, I have to do this, man. With one bus ticket. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody getting back home. <laughs> you got the carpool, the rest of them home. Man. <laughs> oh man. It's audio in heaven. Remember that. They removed um R. Kelly's um I admit it song from That's a wild iTunes. title, bro. Yeah, I admit it, it is a wild the, title. Even the songs were pretty wild. Like the song titles, one that was Freaky Sensation. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Tar Kelly crazy, man. Yeah, I found love in good old days. Those were the The good old days. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the, some some of the titles. The good old days? Yeah, good old days. I don't think you had no good old days. 
Probably did. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Nah, R. Kelly. Something obviously mentally wrong with him, man. You need to go ahead, sit in that prison for a little bit. Would you? Would and you by ever, a little bit, I mean a lot. Yeah, he's going to be there for a minute. <laughs> you need ever, to. Would you ever give it a listen or no? What? <laughs> the song? Just any of them. I, you know, like... It, the it, old... I, I've listened to old... I've, like, heard old R. Kelly. I've never played it on my phone, to be I, honest. I didn't play R. Kelly before, so yeah. it's not hard for me. I played, but, I played a lot of his songs. But the people that do play R. Kelly... I'm talking about, like... Daily on your drive to yeah. work, you play R. Kelly. No, 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 no. I don't drive to work. I think daily. Would that, be. Uh, you in the parking lot? My mind's telling me no. <laughs> but you just anybody that listened to R. Kelly before, I understand if you still listen to him. That's tough to get somebody out of your like. I don't yeah. go through everything all my artists did. Yeah, all, a lot of my artists got bodies. Yeah, I'm sure of it. But I still listen to them. Do I believe in killing people? If you have to, but. <laughs> That man's promoting. They're gonna say we're. They're gonna start saying we're inciting violence. <laughs> that shit. At least we had, wasn't at the Capitol. <laughs> where were you? Where, where would you incite violence at? <laughs> That's a crazy ass question to ask somebody who's white. <laughs> That's probably the most disrespectful thing. That's some disrespectful <laughs> ass shit. Where were you, January six? Huh. Nephew's birthday party, huh? <laughs> Sounds convenient. <laughs> Was this nephew on the way to the Capitol? <laughs> like, that's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, yeah Terrence Howard, uh, his, he is announcing his retirement from acting. Yeah, retirement. Yeah, from acting, man. Yeah. <laughs> how does one? How do you retire from acting? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I man. feel like that's similar to like retiring from rapping. Type yeah, exactly. Like, like he, 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 gave, he gave us whoop that trick. I, you know, I have a hard time. Is that his? I, I just found out that was his song. Yeah, it's actually it That's is his, his actual song. I yeah. thought it was like Bone Crusher singing that shit. <laughs> it's him. What song? Whoop, tri- whoop, whoop that trick. That oh, yeah, trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually him. <laughs> it ain't got the same effect though. Yeah, they probably. <laughs> he really wrapped that up. He really wrapped that and went back to his mansion. And oh no, that, whoop that trick is not is not him. It's Al Capone. I was about to say. I know that. <laughs> no, you think? But the song in Hustle and Flow was. His. So did he steal it? Oh, so he did steal it from this dude. What was the Hustle and Flow song? Whoop that trick. Uh, hard out here for. A yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, they had whoop that, that trick on there too. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It was I think hard out here. Uh, that was the, the the single type shit. Like yeah, the one they were promoting. Hustle and Flow, hard out here for a pimp. He got that whoop that trick. Get <laughs> yeah, him whoop. <laughs> The I ain't playing hope if you want that trip. Hold did he steal that or not? I they gonna like, let us know in the comments. I feel like that's all. Had a whole lot of bitches jumping ship. Yeah, I heard that one before. <laughs> not this one. This is funny. <laughs> yeah, he got whoop that trick too. I'm saying whoop that trick is Al Capone, whatever his name is. So he stole whoop that trick. Yes, I already damn, said that, no, and I was saying there's not. another song on the damn thing you know, that he might have made song. it. God, <laughs> this man. Is... Nah, I ain't playing. Ho. A little Chris was in that movie. I forgot about that. Little Chris is a good actor. He is. Yeah, yeah. He was a really good rapper, like really, really good. Yeah, I agree. But Luke his Chris. his style was just like the first to go. <laughs> yeah, like people like, rapping like that. Yeah, yeah. That shit yeah. was the first to go. His cadence, like, his cadence today just wasn't fit in with the music. Unless he just came out with like some music that's like the past. It can't. But it, I, that's it. Sucks for people like him because he was. I mean, he was killing the game. Yeah. But that style of rap, man. <laughs> <laughs> it will be crazy. I can't even remember none of his fucking lyrics. I just remember his, his verse from like um, goodies or whatever. Like, uh, my oh, what song he's on with uh, Sierra? Stop! No, that's DM. no. Uh, that's Mario. No, Luda got some bangers. No, Luda could still. Stand- <laughs> 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 he got that famous song. Pippin' all that one. No. Nah. Yeah, that's what he got. Yeah. It's called, What's how the first it's called ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How that first lyric go from that move trick? Get out the I way. I know, but it's like he got an iconic. Oh, no. Yeah, lights out. Yeah. I'm yeah. about to punch yeah. Light. Yeah, that shit could not last. Oh my god. <laughs> Play. <laughs> that shit a fire ass throwback. Yeah. Though. I wonder why it just died down like that. People just. It's the same thing. Uh, what's his name? Um, It'll be back. That flow, yeah, the, just the cadence is different, though. Yeah, it'll be back. 
But Ludacris isn't a one hit wonder, so that's like, at he least that's good. No, yeah, and, he's, and, that was good. and just from the looks of it, he looked like he's doing well for himself. Yeah, them Fast Five, those Fast uh, Five, whatever movies, Fast and Furious. <laughs> you so disrespectful. Uncle Vinny brought Brittany Griner home. Did he really? Was that a real caption? That's a real caption. Holy bro. shit! It's that's... just funny because you know he was probably like shitting on the toilet. And he'd probably be like, <laughs> "Damn, how can I, man, drip too hard? Nah, uh, shit." I'm too fly for this. Nah. What? Uh, damn. Oh shit. Let's bring Brittany Griner home, nigga. Post that. <laughs> <laughs> Catch your fire. It's so random too. Oh, was, that's my, that's he didn't my even next, list, he didn't even seem like he was in Phoenix either. Like no context. Caption. That's my next caption. What? It definitely was in L.A. But that's <laughs> yeah. my next caption though. What? We brought Brittany Griner home. <laughs> See how that shit goes. <laughs> what? What? Are, what is your thought process when you're posting a picture on the gram and a caption? Well, like, what's your what's your thought process through th- thinking Already, of the caption? The only reason I'm putting it out there because I found the caption. Oh, okay. The caption is the first thing I find <laughs> before I, the picture. I got a caption. Now I'm just waiting on the right picture. I'm waiting on the picture, not the caption. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, you so you doing the reversal? Yeah, I already got my next five captions. You do? <laughs> yeah. What's the next one? I ain't telling nobody nothing. <laughs> that's it, huh? That's what. That's the caption. No, no, no. Oh. I'm not telling you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have that Meek Mill uh, picture in this shit, <laughs> bro. Meek is a character, bro. He can't be real. Nah, Meek funny as shit. He bro. funny as hell. He the funniest dude <laughs> in history. Bro. That picture is crazy. <laughs> but he was singing kind of like that. Yeah, little baby did the same thing, and everybody glanced right over. It. <laughs> yeah. But they just be wait. They just hating on Meek. No, nah, Meek, Meek. That th- again, the, that got thread got mo- on Twitter is I know, the funniest he shit. He got the most haters because he started with like two things, you know, being funny and stuff like that. So people like keep it going, mm-hmm. and people love negative stuff. So anytime Meek posts, they're gonna take advantage and try to. I think it's good that he's being vulnerable, though. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure when he posts that picture, he, he probably was like, "Oh, they're gonna kill me for this." It's good to know because he don't care. Yeah, or he exactly. wouldn't keep doing this. Shit. Exactly. So that's when you know somebody is good mentally because I know he talked about not being all the way there mentally when mm-hmm. he was going through like the what you call it, talking about like before the Drake beef and stuff. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. He touched the mic again. That boy is. A, <laughs> that boy is. A, that boy is a grip googling. <laughs> you did though. That boy got his grip goggles on. That boy looking at the grip guy. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Gripper. That's the best one you could have came up with. The last one. And on to the next clip. Listener callers, here we come. Yo, what's good, bro? Welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. What's happening, my boy? Welcome back. You going viral right now? We gonna see where it's at. After yeah, when, okay. when a podcast drop, people gotta let us know. I, but. We forgot. I literally forgot all about that clip until I saw it. I was looking at the old podcast. I was like, "Oh shit, this was funny as hell." I got a question for you. What's happening? So let's say you walk in on your homie and your girl having sex, right? Uh huh. Who who is your issue with? Obviously, it's both of them. But who is your issue with first? I don't, honestly, bro, I'm going to just shoot about three rounds in the flow, get their ass away, and I'm going to walk off. Because I'm a, cause, cause honestly, bro, at that point, I don't even want to fuck with neither one of y'all. I'm not even going to say shit. I'm going to just walk in, bah, 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 and walk out. <laughs> I ain't going to say shit else. Bro, has this oh, happened bro. to you before? You kind of sound, it sounds, sounds a little personal. <laughs> Very specific. It sounds like nah, you. Nah, it's, nah. It's just, it's just like I realized, like I, I, I imagined it. It's just like, you know, oh. I can't take all that. I can't take all that emotion at one time. Because it's like I got to fight you, and then I got to fight myself for trying to catch a DV charge <laughs> and a murder charge. So it's like, you know what? I'm going to just shoot three times in the float to calm my anger and get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> oh, so the three shots is therapy for you. That's exactly. Because <laughs> it's like, all right, blah, blah, blah. I'm good. Hold on. Why specifically just three? No, no, no. I, hold on. Them, them gunshots had the same rhythm as the other gunshots. <laughs> You did this yeah. shit before for sure, man. I have very great accuracy. I, I'm, I, I, yeah, I was a marksman. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. This is all cat. Yeah, he is joking. He's joking. It's in GTA. <laughs> Everything is legal, but 
everything. Okay. <laughs> I only think I, I think that's what I'll be scared of the most. Like it ain't it ain't much that can intimidate me. But if somebody yeah. came up to me and be like, "Bro, I ain't with all that shit," just know I'm very accurate. If somebody just say, <laughs> "Thank he, you," he I, I ain't his, even gonna say shit. Like think about it, bro. Imagine, just, imagine all of us go somewhere like Dave and Buster's or something, <laughs> and then like a group of three big ass security security guard built ass niggas just try us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like, look, bro. I don't want shit to do with you. You see the size difference, <laughs> so I'm gonna just walk off. And if they keep going, if they keep following us, just walk a little faster. They'll understand what the fuck going on, cause they gonna have some shit that's gonna back their ass the fuck back. Fifteen <laughs> damn feet farther than what the hell they just walked. <laughs> Bro, life in the South sounds fun. <laughs> it is. Y'all should be. <laughs> hey, we ain't going to Dave and Buster's, though. Dude. Oh, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck Dave and Buster's. I'll take y'all hunting. <laughs> <laughs> we going to the woods and shit. All right. All right bet, bro. Yeah. That will make some, some great content. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> take some four-wheelers down there. Hey, pl- a plug your IG. You know plug your IG TikTok real quick. Oh, bigplay.tray on everything. On TikTok and Instagram. Y'all go follow him. He going viral right now. So shit, so I'm up there. Appreciate it, Brody. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a good one. You too, bro. Peace. What's the deal with it? Hey, what's good, OG? My dog back. I'm about to shoot up to Columbus, Ohio. Be careful in Ohio now. You know what they do to niggas now. <laughs> Nigga, I got a Glock 19 with two clips and they both full. I wish the motherfucker. All right. <laughs> when that sheet, when them sheets come out, you only can hit about two of them. You said I'm gonna hook all them sheets. Yeah. Shit, nigga, I'm gonna say a prayer to God, and I prefer that I hit at least thirty. Uh, hit at least thirty-two because both clips got sixteen. Of them. <laughs> Where the clips got fifteen and one in the head, so it's about thirty-one. Give or take. <laughs> oh, but shit. shit. You knock about five off. They gonna turn their asses around. They ain't that stupid. You know, hope not. If they keep coming, I'm getting the fuck on. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, though? How y'all doing, man? Y'all good, brother? Good, good, man. We got a, I got a question for you. Oh, shit. Let me hear it. If you come home, this hypothetical, but if you come home to one of your boys and your girl doing it, who who do you who who's your beef with first? I know it's with both of them, but who is it with it first? Your girl or your If I boy? come home, <laughs> I'm about to read the question out loud and talk to this background. <laughs> <laughs> she just looked at it like they look like this way. If I come home to my woman and one of my boys doing it, what would I who would my beef be with? She's thinking the way she just looked at me, I'm like, each other got this phone. But the uh, the beef the beef should be telling me both of them. Now I'm like this. If it's a random nigga, uh, I can't be mad at no random nigga. Gotta go with my girl. But I'm beating my man's ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> now, me personally. Wait, what'd you do in that instance, though? I'm beating the shit out of that nigga in that instance. But he might be naked. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna knock the nigga the fuck out. <laughs> nigga, I had to think this shit ain't gonna touch me. This <laughs> shit ain't gonna touch me. Now, I don't hit women. But I'm going to scream at my girl is so motherfucking tough and I'm going to jump and flinch and punch the wall. Nigga, I'm throwing, I'm body slamming TVs all through that bitch. You know, <laughs> she going she gonna to think I'm going to touch her. I'm even, nigga, I'm even going to start shots in the air like, bitch, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> bitch, I'm what? Bitch, I'm crazy. I'll kill you. <laughs> You know what I mean? But, uh, my man's ass beat the show, though. I'm beat my man's ass. Like, nigga, I'm, 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 I'm a torture doggy ball. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, no. I always serious torture somebody. I'm gonna tie dog up, nigga, and, like, clip his toenails every day. I'm gonna pull one toenail off each day, so that's 10 days on the toenails. Come on, man, I'm on the phone, but I can't. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do it you like nigga, I like dog I gotta get tortured because it's like this man, y'all know me, bro. I'm real big on loyalty, man. So if you do something like that to me, man, you got it, nigga. Yeah, ain't, ain't no COVID nineteen in the baby. I love you, girl. You guys to get me in trouble. I'm about to get drunk. All right, bro. But no, I'm trying to ruin your weekend. No, no, it's all good. She know we just kicking the shit. 
he got to get it. He got to get it, man. But I don't believe him. Don't cross me. And when you cross me, I'm going to beat the shit out of you, boy. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to. Y'all, y'all remember the video where uh, Sharkeisha punched that girl? And they like, Sharkeisha! <laughs> I'm going to knock doggy bone shit the fuck back. I'm going to have on some gator boots, too. The pointy toes going to be kicking the shit out that nigga in the shit. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, man, like, like think about it, man. Like, because your, your home, outside of your, outside of your girl, man, your homeboys, I mean, them, 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 your two, them your two people. Right. And the two people that cross you the most, shit, I ain't going to lie to you. But I'll probably sit the dog on my girl, though. <laughs> You must not be around your girl right now, huh? <laughs> She's sitting directly next to me. She's back on her lips. Like, you tell everybody to get in trouble. I got this phone call, bro. All right, Brody. I'm going to enjoy the moment. All right, Brody. I'm appreciate I'm appreciate you coming on, though. You know it, man. All right, bro. All right, Brody. All right. Love y'all, dog. Love you, too, Brody. Oh, welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, man. How's it going? Chilling, man. It's going to be on for once. Yeah, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for having yeah, yeah. So you what told you me mean for once. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about for once we miss you. You were supposed to be on earlier. Oh no, but I mean, like I've been watching y'all for like a minute. All right, low key, I be like in the comment section, and like I started watching y'all because I commented on like one of y'all TikTok videos, and like my comment got like two thousand likes. Oh damn! So I've been like working type shit, like. <laughs> Dope, dope. All right, you, you, <laughs> what? <laughs> so you said you had a relationship that lasted only two weeks? No, nah, I wasn't even like a relationship. I just, I, she just let me on for two weeks. What do you mean? How she lead her. you on? All right, so this happened like four weeks ago. So this is recent. Damn, so there's still some hurt in, the, in your heart. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to keep shooting my shot. I'm not going to lie. Okay, oh, go ahead. <laughs> Persistence. So it's know, all about persistence. All right, go ahead. This nigga stalking. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so look, so look. Uh, this is about four weeks ago. I'm like, I'm gonna hit the shorty up. I went to high school with her. You know, she she looked better than she did in high school, and I also looked better. So I hit her line. We start talking for like a week, whatever. I go home for Thanksgiving break. You know, I'm trying to link up with her. Uh, I hit her like on like a Wednesday. I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be in town for like a couple more days. We should hang out Saturday, whatever. And mind you, like in between the entire time while we talking, she be like parting my IG story, like on my pictures and stuff. You be posting selfies? You know, flirting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? You yeah. post selfies? That's kind of crazy. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. Not selfies, but this like fit pics or like. Mean the guys or just whatever. <laughs> but she be she be showing love. Okay, I'm like, okay. Right, I'm glad like, you said fit pic. <laughs> bro, I was saying what? <laughs> but posting dick pics to the story is crazy. No, fit pics, my bad, fit pics. <laughs> no, you good. All right, go ahead. So I'm like, all right, you know, she she feeling the kid. So then I hit her up like we should go out Saturday night, get some drinks and food, catch up, this that. She's like, all right, I'm down. We should do it. So then Saturday come up. I hit her like, yo, we still good for tonight? She like, yeah, I'm working, but I'll be free. Like, I'll be off work by time night, you know, whatever. She didn't give you a so time? Then, well, we said 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. So it's it's like 8.45. I'm pulling up to the place. I sent her a snap of me in the car. And I'm like, I'm on the way. And then she say, okay, who else going to be there? At that moment, like if anybody ever asks who else be there, they you they already made up in their mind they not gonna come. Right. But mind you, I'm already dressed up. I got to the place, which is like a whole thirty minute drive for me. And shorty me with that, who else gonna be there? So she, I said, she, Oh, it's just me. She didn't take it I that this like, was a date. I, but look, I told my boys about it, and that's the first thing they said. They said, Did you make it clear? That it was a date. I went back to my text messages. I said, we, like you and I, should go out for drinks and food Saturday night. Oh, so she she just hold you, to be honest. <laughs> she never wanted to she fuck did, bro. with you. It wasn't that. But look. It wasn't that she didn't want to. Nah. She just, nah. She don't want you, bro. <laughs> but look, this is the crazy part, right? 
she tried to make it up by saying the following morning I should come to her job and get some uh, breakfast with her because she worked there. She said I can get like some breakfast. Where did she no, work? Where she so. work at Denny's, nigga? Fuck yourself out there early. <laughs> she work at IHOP. No, like, no, she a manager of like some nice restaurant, hotel, or some shit like that. Oh, she work at a uh, a bed and breakfast. <laughs> cool. <Or> like, <laughs> nah, but look, but look. So I, I was gonna take her up on her offer. Hold on, Mike then, said. Mike no, said, let him talk, bro. No, Mike said it wasn't a brothel. <laughs> no. Bro, a, Mike, quit playing with me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'll take up on your offer. And then I'm like, let me make sure she's going to actually enjoy this meal with me before I pull up. So I'm like, all right, if I come, we're going to sit down and have breakfast together. And she say, oh, I'm going to be working. So it depends on if it's going to be busy or not. She's going to have you just sitting there by yourself? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I say try one more time. Like, hey, do you want to get on a date? More likely, it sounds like you 0-3. So you probably going 0-4. So she's going to spin you somehow. Just really pay attention to how she's spinning you, right? And it'll really, you know, you'll get that in your brain. And then you won't mess with her. And then talk to one of her friends. It's the best advice I got. That's fact. Bro, you know what's crazy? What's the, night the night before I was supposed to go on this date with Shorty. I was with one of her other friends. And she, and and she got you friend zone too? Bro, I asked, okay. It was like 2 o'clock in the morning. We coming home from the bars. I'm driving shorty up the crib. We sit in the car talking for like 30 minutes. So I'm like, hmm, I already gave you enough of my time. Maybe it's time for you to give me some. You feel me? <laughs> oh, hold on. It didn't work out. I'm well. I'm glad. You're, you're a little aggressive, nigga. What? What happened? No. Okay. Okay. That's not how I said it. But, but <laughs> how'd you say it? Then? <laughs> you said I gave you plenty of my time. Now it's my turn. All right. Look. All right. Look. Look. So, Shorty was like, "All right, I'll give you some gas money for the ride. Thank you." Blah blah blah. Oh, she gave you gas money. I'm like, you took it. Well, look. I said instead of gas money. You know, you could give me some head instead. No way, good, bro. No, no way. way. <laughs> hey, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was smooth as hell. <laughs> right? That shit was smooth as uh, peanut butter with nuts in it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. <Damn. laughs> you tweak. No wonder she don't fuck with you. That was the worst. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Hey, all makes sense. <laughs> hey I ain't never heard game worse than that. That shit is... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you might have just took the gas money at that point. The better game was to not even, like, use that as a lead-up point. You could have literally denied the gas money and been a gentleman. Been a gentleman. And went home and just played your cards right the next time. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I don't need to. Now you insuing, insinuating that she is a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's crazy because, okay. From, like, one no other way, bro. <laughs> we cannot put that on the podcast. <laughs> Oh, oops. <laughs> Hello? Yo, what's good? Damn. Yeah, what's good? You from Saudi Arabia? Yeah, I'm driving. I'm driving. I'm driving. Oh, you are? Driving fast as hell. Yeah, yeah. You in the Audi, ain't you? Nah, I'm a... You in I, a, I told you before. Elantra. I'm in a Elantra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already uh, know. <laughs> so, yeah. You, yeah. so you said uh, you had a teacher with an interesting name. Yeah, so uh, I have... Uh, wait. I have a teacher that his name is is the N word. I'm not gonna say it, but without uh, the er, is with the ie or something like that. So it was like nigga. Yes. So y'all called him that or Mr. N? Yeah. Yes. But look. So you Arby say it? <laughs> okay. Nah, you trying? So y'all all in there saying this shit? Yes, yes, you like, I, like not just school. his name, his grandfather's name too. Like his name is N. Oh, da, 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 N. Not just oh. one time, two times. Two times? Oh, so his name is nigga, nigga? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. So the grand. So hold on. So he got a granddad named nigga, nigga too. No, no, no. Is he the little nigga, well, nigga, or the big nigga, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's big. What? <laughs> but look, it's it's, 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 it's time that he's white. He's white? Yes. Oh, this nigga nigga trip. <laughs> 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 Go 
Oh, his name is nigga, nigga, but, and he white. Look. Oh, they over in Saudi Arabia <laughs> getting away not, with that not shit. Not two times. It's just <laughs> his name is, and then his, like that. His name is is Muhammad or something like that. So N Muhammad, and then his grandfather's name is N. So nigga Muhammad, nigga. <laughs> Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> they troll it like a motherfucker. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> fucking normal. niggas, man. <laughs> That's crazy. So all y'all call him that, though. Y'all don't call him Mr. N? But y'all just say the whole thing? No, no, no. We call him, like... like His like other name? <laughs> yes. But, but call, like, so y'all be calling uh, him nigga? Yes. <laughs> when, I, when I be mad... Uh, oh, no, no, no. What did he say? He said, when I get mad. When I'm mad at him, I'm going to call him with an ER. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he ruined the whole call. What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Nah. Fuck him. Hey, man, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Actually, I don't want no smoke with Saudi Arabia. I just thought about that. Mm. No smoke at all. Mm-mm. So, uh. Our bad, y'all. Nah, we can't let that slide, bro. <laughs> we got to see if he connect. He driving Elantra, so we can't be too connected, but nah. Our bad, y'all. He said, so when I get mad, he thought that shit was okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because he wouldn't say the word. <laughs> but then. But then. I like, oh, he's not going to cross no line. <laughs> I think that was the punchline of the whole show. <laughs> He was waiting to say that the whole time. He really said it? I didn't hear it. No, he didn't say it. Oh. He just said ER. Oh, okay. Don't give me, don't get it. Nah, nah. nah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Hello. How's it going? It's going. That's crazy. I'm actually watching the show right now. <laughs> oh, fire, fire. What episode you on? Uh, 49. 49? Damn, that's a long time ago. I don't even yeah. remember what happened. Sorry. So, I got a question for you. What's up? How did you find out your significant other was cheating on you? <sighs> okay, so I was in college. I went to a college three hours away from my hometown. And we were talking on Twitter one day because, I don't know, his phone was broken. I forget. But, you know, me being the psycho that I am, I go through his likes. And I come across this girl. I forget what the tweet even said, but he liked it. He was the only one who liked it. <laughs> so I went to her profile. and. I was like, hmm, her name looked real familiar because I've seen the same pop up in his phone before. He was like, oh, no, it's just this girl from church. So I clicked on her Instagram and I saw that, like, she lived not too far from us. And then, like, I'm, like, looking at her pictures and stuff. His, his like, comment is the first comment I see. He called her wife, checking niggas in her, like, comments and stuff. And, like, yeah, this my girl. Like, leave my girl alone. Like, yada, yada, yada. So... I then like went to her Twitter and she like made a tweet about Sweetest Day or something. And she was like, I wonder who he spent Sweetest Day with. So I quoted it and I said, shit, it wasn't me. And then that's when we got to talking. She started sending me receipts, yada, yada, yada. So in the midst of like me, like looking on Instagram and stuff, I go to his profile and start looking like to see if like he like like any of his pictures or like comment on, under his pictures. None of that. But I saw his birthday post and like, I'm like just, over investigating and stuff i see he got this girl's name around his neck i said how have we been together this long and i have never seen this necklace on you he was like no that don't even say her name that don't even say her name i said Nigga. Wait, did he have it on around you he's never had it on around me if he did he had it tucked her i don't know that's a while like that's at that point at, that's when, if I was a cheater, that's when I would stop. If I gotta keep <laughs> fucking taking the necklace every time I come out of here, that shit too much work. Exactly, and like we, it wasn't even like, oh, like he was dating for a couple months. No, I was with that man since I was like sixteen, and he was like, at the time, what I was like, nineteen when I found out. I feel like this is Mari right now. <laughs> it was weird. All right, you got the, the boyfriend come out. All right, come on. <laughs> this shit crazy. Like, where's the cameras at so I can run away? All right, you still ain't had no real proof that he cheated, though. <laughs> no, I saw the receipt. Okay, that. So did you? She sent me the receipts of like them talking, and he was like, or she asked him, like, okay, like, 
what is this girl talking about? Like, why is she talking about seeing the sweetest day with you? Yeah, mm-hmm. got it, got it, got it. What's his and excuse? And he was like, no, like, ain't nothing serious going on between me and her. Like, we just cool. That's my friend, blah, blah, blah. And I said, nigga, what? He's like, <laughs> oh, no. So he thought he was never going to get caught. He ain't got no backup plan, nothing. <laughs> no. Not liking pictures and commenting under it. <laughs> he was a reckless <laughs> dude. Why are you in the like, comments? Oh, like a, you know comments, what? I, I want to tell oh, you yeah, something. Okay. Fine. Let me let me tell you something, right? He disrespected you by cheating on you, right? That's one. But you missing the blatant, most disrespectful thing he did to you. You want to know what it is? What? <laughs> he thought you were so dumb that <laughs> he, you wasn't going to see him. <laughs> Fighting for another girl in her comments. Like, this nigga is commenting back saying, this is my wife while in a whole nother relationship. He thought you wasn't a good enough detective to find that out. That's disrespectful. Literally. And then the whole time, like, me and this girl, like, be comparing stories and everything. Like, there was another girl who came out the woodwork. Another one? Yes, but me and this girl, we already got into it before about, like, him and her, like, talking and stuff. But while I'm away at college, tell me why these two girls, they team up and they damage his car. So you wasn't a part of that? I was not a part of that. <laughs> I was away at college. <laughs> yeah, okay. You was on FaceTime with him while they was doing it, girl. No, I girl, wasn't. Girl, he leave the trunk unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> tell him no, I that's, really wasn't. That's how they knew where to and find the like, car. I was talking to him about it. He was like, if he was here, you would have done it with him. I'm like, shit, maybe so I, I would, for real. I got a question for you. What's up? Where do you think you rank amongst these girls? You think you was one, two, or three? I I don't even know, it's, honestly. It's definitely a ranking. Would you just give I you? I mean, in my heart, I want to believe that I was one, but I don't know. This man ain't never commented under my picture calling me his wife. You're two. <laughs> <laughs> or three at this point. I'm You're just two. like, dang. Yeah, what's it? So what was the other girl we see? You might be three. Let's see if you, let's, what was the other girl? Well, she was well, girl. That's another story for a different day. Oh my gosh, I fought this girl before. But appreciate you coming on. Um, of course. I hope you find real love. Yeah, no, no, that nigga, he's still my dog, though. He was actually just in my inbox last night asking me to have a baby with him. <laughs> oh, he wild. <laughs> this boy, that boy IQ either really high or really low. I can't tell. <laughs> no, nah, it's real low. Let me know. Special. All right. <laughs> Oh, he's special. All right. <laughs> Did you hear that crazy story about the uh, the journalist that died in where Qatar during the World Cup? During the World Cup, Jeez. the journalist that tried to get—I I, I remember it being an early story, like maybe a couple weeks ago. He tried to get into the stadium with the shirt that had a rainbow on it. Mm-hmm. You know they don't like that over there. Yeah. Like, at all. <laughs> so you know they don't like that over there. They don't like that shit at all. <laughs> so, um, like it's like. Worth death over there. So he's been over there two weeks, and then he just recently died of ju- they, what they say is natural causes, or he got sick. Yeah. Was he old? No. His his brother, all his family is, like, literally all over the Internet saying he was healthy. He was healthy before he left. So a lot of people are claiming foul play. Wow. Yeah. You know, like, 500 people have died over there. Yeah, like, in, in the... Immigrant workers? Yeah. Like, so they were Because getting... it gets hot as shit over there, bro. Yeah, so they're getting they're getting workers from uh, other countries that would, like, do anything for money, especially this type of money. So they're, so you got people from other countries that are coming in. That's how it usually is in those, like... In those, right. Th- those, That's in what the comes in, does the work. Yeah. America, we, like, have every culture here, so yeah. we know how to do everything. And then everybody over there is... Well, a lot of them over there are just they might not be, they might and they might not be good builders mm-hmm. either. They might have you know everybody over or there just is, below them. Yeah, everybody's rich over here, and we always get our our uh, manual labor from that country. But yeah, there was always a a lot of controversy about the World Cup even being over there because even like with Budweiser, they paid I think they paid like sixty million or something for um to be the official sponsor of the World Cup. Mm-hmm. But in Qatar, there's no drinking. So, uh, so they weren't going to allow the sale of alcohol, but they said they would right be up to the point of like the world cup starting and so Budweiser is doing all this advertisement for the FIFA world cup and you can't sell beer in the stadium. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. they, they said, nah. So it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting though. They are like, 
sometimes I think we forget that we don't have control over everything. Yeah. You know, people, it's like, I, it's equivalent to that uh, lady watching two gorillas fight and she mm-hmm. like, where the zookeeper's at? Like, what the fuck he gonna do? Yeah. But it's the same thing when people be on the internet like, why are they letting this happen? It's like, what the fuck is America gonna do yeah. for somebody hosting It's just, it's just that cultural difference and like, the religious difference, and I don't even think a religious difference, but I think more of the uh, cultural difference. And sometimes I, I'm always really on the fence of like, should I push my worldly views on another country? Especially when it, to me, if it doesn't have, it, it gets a little tricky when it's like human rights, like people fighting for like women's rights in those in some of those countries and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. like, all right. That's something I can't like. I don't think I think everybody deserves rights. Not to say but, America is correct on everything, but we're spoiled with some stuff. Yeah, we're just like, spoiled with the freedom aspect like, of look things. At the, like the people that riot at the Capitol. Yeah. You do that in Qatar. None of you guys are making it out alive. Yeah, or think or like, even North Korea. North Korea. Try to overthrow the government. Or I think <laughs> Iraq or Iran. Um mm-hmm. that there were Pro, like women protesters about women's rights, yeah, I think it's like, Iran. literally got shot in the head. Mm-hmm. Like they literally know who was going to protest. Like in some of those countries, they'd be like, like when we have someone controversial, like Donald Trump was super controversial. Mm-hmm. Nothing ever happened to him. Nothing ever close to. No threat was made on his life, like publicly like that. Like remember those people that tried to. Uh, had a Facebook group to kidnap the governor of Michigan. <laughs> they did. Yeah. That's a crazy ass Facebook group. <laughs> that's a to crazy have. Like, That's a crazy a one. A fucking group chat exists. Dick yeah. is. <laughs> no, and we gonna put it on private. Nobody can see this. Yeah. Motherfuckers. <laughs> but like still they didn't die. Mm-hmm. Right? They probably about to serve some time in jail, but they didn't die. You yeah. do that in them other countries, like hundred percent death. Yeah. If you're American, maybe you make it back home because some people are scared of what America might do back if they find foul play. But like bro, I, think, I think other countries tired of America. They getting tired. Yeah. They, they always been tired yeah. of us. They can't do shit. <laughs> pull up. That's like time to pull up. That's why I don't hang with people that I'm afraid of. Like I respect Mike Tyson. We can never be friends, bro. Like, I can never offend Why are you afraid of Mike Tyson? Huh? Why are you afraid of Mike Tyson? Yeah, he'd knock your ass out. So. I'm not afraid of Mike Tyson. He'd beat your ass. Oh. No, 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 no. I ain't say be afraid, like, oh, to go Mike Tyson run. I wouldn't want to be friends with him. Because you never know when. You ever, you ever see him Mike in Mike Tyson, you live in, if you listen to this, let's be friends, man. <laughs> Fuck Pat. No, I can be friends with you. You scary ass bitch. You How am I that? scary? You're the one that literally just said you're scared. Nah, but you can't offend Mike Tyson and be like, yeah, Mike. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Let's say uh, somebody be like on FaceTime and be like, hey, Mike Tyson, you ugly. I'd be like, damn, he hold you, Mike. And then he'd be like, that's funny. Like, oh, might be, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine laughing at Mike Tyson in the group, and he yeah. say, and he pointed at you like, "Hey, that's funny." <laughs> what you gonna say? If I was actually laughing, yeah, I would say a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he. I can hold my own. Now nah, you should be. We we should be all right. That would be you, all right. You should. It depends on where we at. Now you saying like I offended Mike Tyson. We the only two people in the room. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Mike, I wasn't laughing at all. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's how I sneeze. <laughs> but uh, if if it was in front of people, yeah. <laughs> I say any. If it's some cops there, why yeah. cussing Mike out? <laughs> like you list having ass motherfucker. <laughs> hey, the cops walk away like you on your own. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> where y'all going? We are not going to protect you. Yeah. Your Nigerian brother came on the live. Yeah, it was. It, we we're out here. I think you're our first Nigerian uh, listener. No, this is a that's couple. from that's from. Actual, it, it's it's funny that, that, the real Nigerians, not you. I am real Nigerian. Now you kind of washed in this American soil. Nah, nah, nah. Born <laughs> in Nigeria, <laughs> high school in Nigeria. Say something to Nigerian. There's no such thing. What's y'all language? French? No, my, ling- my language is Igbo, and Igbo. some other people are Igbo. Igbo. Um, Kedu. What I mean? Hello. <laughs> Kedu. 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 There you go. No, why do you, I hate when people do that. I said Kedu and you said Kedu. What, what's the difference? <laughs> Kedu. Kedu. There you go. Yeah, go. Uche, Uche. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. What else we got? Uh, uh, do you know my middle name? Yeah, yeah. What is it? I don't want to say it on. No, you can say it. I really don't care. Tremaine. Which is it? Jermaine. Nah. <laughs> he said Tremaine. I meant Jermaine. I got the mo- I got a ghetto ass. <laughs> I got Patrick Johnson. Like, oh, that's a nice name. Yeah, Jermaine, middle name. <laughs> like, you can't trust him. So you PJJJ? P 
PJJJJ. I'm a junior too. Yeah, so Patrick Jermaine Johnson Jr. Yeah. Golly. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Living in the ghetto. That shit ghetto as fuck. God damn. I ain't saying that shit out loud no more. God damn. That's crazy. Hey, my parents thought they were spitting like, fuck, three of them bitches. Oh, oh, oh. Boy gonna be a star. Call that boy Pete to the third. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Let's just call him Trey Dre. <laughs> Trey J? <laughs> You're trying to think of anything. He said Pete to the third. That's so crazy. <laughs> to the third power. <laughs> Nobody calls me PJ in my family. You know why? Why? Because it's a dude, my cousin, named Phil Lewis, and they call him PJ. <laughs> and he younger than me. Phil Lewis? Yeah. Why don't they call him PL? <laughs> he a junior, though. Oh, so. But he younger than me. So I'm like, how he get named PJ before me? <laughs> PLJ. PL. That boy. Pop. I've never had anybody call me PJ. If someone call me PJ, they are Caucasian and they barely know me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Can I call you PJ? Fuck no. <laughs> What's well, up? Uh, can I call you Patty? Huh? What's up? He says, can I call you Patty? That's how you know. It, those are... That's crazy. Though. <laughs> if a guy said that, I say, what is it, Pat, Patty? Like, smack, smacky the fuck out of you. How about that? Before I shoot, shooty, you dummy, dumbass. Fuck. I'm talking about some Patty. Tell you I, Patty, they want well, to be funny. I, uh, they are. trying to scrap. Yeah, they be the extra funny. You're sliding on thin ice, Patty. <laughs> If you're in the hood and they call you Patty, they try to rob you for sure. 100%. <laughs> if they actually say your name, they trying to rob you. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Pat. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> Y'all boys can rob these nuts. <laughs> oh, man. You heard about that Walmart? What happened? Uh, the stores, they're, they're threatening to, like, lift the prices uh, and close all the stores because of shoplifting. Damn. It's like an issue over there. Yeah, I heard they lost $3 billion. Yeah, $3 billion. In, in theft? Every year. In theft? But listen, yeah, listen, listen, theft. listen. What they won't put out there, put out how much you really make. Because if $3 billion, that's how we know $3 billion in theft. This is just like a marketing scheme to be just like, to try to scare some people off without actually hiring extra security. How about you stop doing all checkout lines and have some cashiers? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bitches. So. You know those Walmarts where you go to and they lock up all the hair products? Oh, yeah. I hate yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see, I have no problem with you locking up. It's a little weird. But how, how I'm supposed to get a free sample. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that there's no one ever there to open the damn thing for you, oh, bro. Right. I'll press the button and be waiting in the same spot trying to get trying to get uh, lotion and shit. Man, I don't, know, <laughs> hey, I don't know what them dudes in Walmart be doing, man. I don't know. Bro, I seen one, bro. Um, he he had some clothes and hangers and stuff like that, and I like, hey, bro, you know where um you know where the grocery all at? I'm good. This I ain't never been in this Walmart. This Walmart kind of big. He's like, nigga, I'm on break and kept walking. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> It was shooting dice by the milk. Yeah. What the fuck going on? <laughs> I like, asked, I'm just I remember, trying to get behind y'all. Now you trying to get in on this cuz? I remember I like asking uh, like where the pots and pans were to a, a Walmart employee and they just said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so like confused like what to do like I was like he, he pointed at his tag and say electricity. That's it, man. <laughs> That's all I work in electric. <laughs> I ain't never been to that side of the store. But, but yeah, they be taking all day to come let me get the damn lotion, bro. I'm like, I have to go, <laughs> I have to go up to the front and be like, hey, can somebody let me uh That's crazy. thing? I ain't never had to go up to I the front. I did that because I, I had to go. I That's crazy. You have to go, have to go, go. To the front? Yeah, yeah, to the front, all the way to the front. Fuck no. If and I then they'll call the, the front, person on the top on the little walkie-talkie. I'm like, bro, what is this button? Do you know when you press that little button, like uh social would be right with you? <laughs> yeah. No yeah, they, one ever shows up. Nah, it's probably somebody that here and tell me. <laughs> but it's crazy out. seeing those. It's pr pr crazy seeing those WalMarts that have like all the black hair c products uh, locked up, and they got all the Maybelline shit <laughs> wide open. <laughs> I'd be like, all right. <laughs> There's some things they lock up that it makes no sense either. <laughs> That'd be crazy if they had like a barricade over the watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be stupid. Just just stop them. <laughs> you ever you ever go to like a Walmart or any store and your hands are ashy you just like <laughs> you start Feel using lotion? lotion? See, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> Niggas like you, man. <laughs> Fucking it up for everybody. You never stole from a Walmart before? Never. Never? Okay. I never stole in my life. Do you ever go out of your way to go to like a nicer Walmart? 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I definitely have. Yeah. It's just like I can't, bro. <laughs> when you growing up, okay, when you grow up in the hood, like bro, you get so accustomed to like what the a stare means everything. Mm-hmm. Like when you look at somebody eye to eye, bro, it's a life or death situation. Mm-hmm. Like that one point in time, you like you could go through a street where you just like, man, ain't nobody. You you hit seventeen, you be like, ain't nobody about to hold me, right? You could go through your life before you make it out the hood and getting fifty thousand stare downs, but you never ran into the one motherfucker that would actually kill you. <laughs> like it's some real killers out here. Mm-hmm. That's what people don't understand. Like, you might be the toughest, but you just ain't met nobody tougher than you yet. You might shoot during the argument. It's somebody that's going to shoot as soon as you raise your voice. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody yelled at me before. (laughs) All right. What is that to do with my story? (laughs) That one went on a whole tangent. Like, I try to avoid that. Because, you know, especially if the worst thing is being in a hood that's not your hood. I, I hate that shit. <laughs> With a passion. Yeah. I don't get, you know, some of my family from out of town, they be like, man, we got to go. I get going to the hood to get something to eat. Sometimes you got to. Mm-hmm. I used to risk like, my life for some jerk chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and something else. But. Come on, bro. You are sick. <laughs> this man's brain is just everywhere. Tell your damn Whoa. story. <laughs> Oh. That's definitely not. That's such a reach. That's false. His brain is everywhere. <laughs> that that's not a reach. It's a reach. Oh my! I forgot goodness. what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this man is so dumb, bro. <laughs> like you are unintelligent. Wow. <laughs> does that hurt more when yeah, somebody says that? <laughs> <laughs> right. You rather be called a bitch and say somebody be like, I don't think you can fight. <laughs> like the plain facts. <laughs> you look like you can't fight. You, or you lack common sense. <laughs> so let me tell you that in the argument. <laughs> you lie, right. <laughs> Instead of cussing at you, yeah. like, oh no. Now you're getting too offensive. Oh, my crocs are here. <laughs> 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 I got the little uh Soleil um uh, Sasquatch Crocs. Oh, they got the little AI things going on. Yeah. See a little on IG. It happened last week. We were supposed to talk people, about last week. People got a cartoon figure of themselves. Yeah, yeah. They turned themselves into avatars. Hey, all they doing is scanning your ID. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think people. I didn't know people were paying for them though. Bro, people put any eight dollars. All they need it. They just want to update everybody's faces. Like, hold on, let's get an update. Yeah. Face. Let's put this app out here. And you got to send them your pictures and shit. Dude's making their profile page. He's just making it easier. Like, you can, oh. And the thing about it, you can do that yourself, too. It's it's not really that complicated. Hey, I got something. You what? know how you know you from the hood? What? You know, it's a lot of dudes that claim they from the hood, right? <laughs> if the way I know you from the hood, if I grab your phone, click your Facebook, right? And you got a bunch of people on your Facebook that don't have their real names on there. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna start doing. People be like, "Man, I'm from the hood. Let me see your phone." Yeah. I go to your Facebook, and it's Grant Davis or Jared Waller, right? Mm. And it says that you ain't from the fucking hood. You got full names in it. <laughs> I got, I got, I got twenty thousand people on my damn Facebook with Joe from you as a profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know how many NBA athletes I got on my shit. <laughs> Like five people I know with Allen Iverson on their shit. I thought Kiki Palmer followed me on um, MySpace back. Oh, it was tagged. I thought that was before like catfish. I remember tag. Right? Yeah, tag was a thing. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I thought Kiki Palmer was following me. That's before like catfishing was like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like Kiki Palmer like added you or something. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I thought yeah. I was like, I was all. I thought I was on. I was like, hell yeah. Did you ever get followed by like a random? This is before, way before the podcast. Mm-hmm. Fuck, why can't I remember his name? Um, he followed me. It just weird ass follow. I'm talking about I got 700 followers on Twitter. I'm mm-hmm. coaching football. No reason to follow me. Uh, smile. What's this? I know you like to smile. Oh, uh, Mr. Hotspot? Mr. Hotspot. Yeah. He's still follow me oh, on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. I don't, he don't even know who I am. <laughs> it got to be an accident. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get him on the pod now. I do. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. We asked him way earlier, but. We only had like 5,000 followers, so he probably wasn't messing with it. <laughs> on what? Hmm? On what? Our podcast. 5,000 followers on what? Here, like on TikTok. Oh, that's what I'm asking. That's the question. Yeah. Why are you being so difficult today? I don't know. You all right, bro? Real weird t- oh, I got to get you a ride, but man, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to give me a ride after this, though. Whoa. You have to take me to a basketball game. <laughs> there you go. That's near your place. Hey. <laughs> 
I'm dropping Mike off at a school. <laughs> Rough I, ass. I have a this car. Is our king audio I, listeners. I just don't want to take two cars. Did nah, you, man. You guys do that AI stuff at all? Nah, nah man. man. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm judging. I don't know. I'm definitely judging. It's just I got an L on my forehead right now. For me, sometimes with like those type of trends, and this is like sometimes trying to be too cool for school. What are you doing? Calling all your listeners some losers. Uh, I just listen. I, I mess with y'all, man. No, he don't. I he, do. Plenty of times, and he only want to stick up for y'all because we beefing today. No, I always I love. I'm an audio listener. I listen to audio podcasts. Nah, I see. I'll be watching you, bro. You'll be on YouTube all the time. I'll be on YouTube, but I got YouTube Premium. You got YouTube Premium. That's how you know you're a real YouTuber. Yeah, yeah I'm an audio yeah. listener. Oh, yeah, yeah, you heard him. Yeah. Got him. All your listeners, y'all on your own. Audio listeners, get the podcast first. It's just like when y'all dad left all over again. <laughs> audio <laughs> listeners, get the podcast first at 4 a.m. Like, they get the podcast first. Okay. They're usually working while listening. A lot of them are working. You can't watch YouTube and work at the same time. You about to get somebody cheering right now, and their supervisor just said, why you got your headphones on? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think audio listeners collectively might be smarter than YouTube. The, there's less distractions. YouTubers, like, they, they can't be, you know, they get too distracted. There's a video. Or they so rich. We got two devices. There's a video on the side of it. There's a video on the side of it saying what you should watch Some next. Some people watch on YouTube, but don't actually watch. So then an audio listener. Nah, but they still YouTube because they can pull it out. They on can the glance part. over and, and see. Yeah. And they, sometimes good visuals are good, though. I like visuals. You like visuals? I, like, I like everybody. <laughs> I do like everybody. Everybody? Everybody. You like everybody. Everybody. You know, there's not one person on earth that you would be like, not even, like, there's not one person on earth that you'd be like, he cool, but okay. I, I don't I, like everybody. I don't like you. everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't dislike anybody though. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. I don't <laughs> want nobody to die. Yeah. I don't wish jail on nobody. I don't wish nobody family members or them. To I like. Sick. I really don't like that many but people. But it all. is I don't know why some people. I don't want you to be too successful. <laughs> I don't fuck with you like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough for you to be a millionaire and shit like that. Like I just hope you make a little fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year. Take care of your family. Now, if you a little bit too successful, is there anybody? Is there anybody that you're just not fond of that actually is, like, doing well for themselves? <laughs> no, no, everybody doing bad. Thank thankfully. You, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool, though. It's cool. It's There's cool. people that you don't like they are doing good for themselves right now? Uh, No, I wouldn't say that. I never really get jealous. My bad. I thought you said something. No, I'm just saying, like, anybody that you're just not fond of that's uh, doing well. Not that you're jealous of them doing well. Mm, not really. No? Honestly, yeah, everybody yeah. I know doing bad. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. So that's good. Hey, crackheads and shit, man. Just like I thought they was. <laughs> Just I'm like trying that. to think about like people I'm not fond of. I don't really remember. High school is like a there's some a blur dudes that don't me. fuck with you. I can tell you for me. Yeah, who? It's the one dudes from um that dude from Saudi Arabia just messaged me. He don't follow you. Some yeah. of the audio listeners don't really fuck with you. Didn't I think you? I think a lot of people like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying some of the audio listeners don't fuck. I with think you. the audio listeners. Every mess YouTuber, me. we all together. There's some audio. I think all the audio listeners, especially after what I just said. Nah, one of the audio listeners just diss you. Who? The one from Australia. He didn't diss me. Yes, he did. <laughs> what did he say? Fuck Mike. No, he didn't. Fuck Mike. <laughs> Hope he gets fucked by a kangaroo. Like, <laughs> bro, something is wrong with you today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got the gloves downstairs. Let's do it. All right, come on. We've both been going to the same amount of classes, Just right? one hand, too. One hand? Yeah. That's crazy. All jabs, all left. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Be some bloody you can't do that, though. Huh? You can't do that. That's my nose, That's my nose is kind of bleeding the last time I sparred. That's crazy. I was sparring to get some pros. Ain't that crazy that somebody can really rock your jaw, right? Mm -hmm. And just barely fracture it where you probably won't feel it until after the fight. And technically, that's the hardest hit of the fight. Like, then yeah. you fracture, but don't nobody know that. Yeah. Right? But if you make somebody nose bleed, oh, the gun's got to come out. <laughs> yeah, my nose wasn't bleeding, bleeding, though. My nose was bleeding to the point where I, like... It, no, it wasn't like that. It's just like I had to, like, I put tissue in it. That's crazy. Ain't that crazy? Somebody can barely hit you. Like, if you get somebody a bloody no, nose... No, I got caught. I got caught for sure. Ooh, it's... It was just bare... I was, fight, I was sparring this uh this dude's a bare knuckle fighter, mm -hmm. and... You could feel his knuckles through the glove? Just his, his head was big as hell. Yeah. And like, every time I, I landed a hook, I could just... And then that's when he, like, his eyes got wide... And he was like, like, come on. <laughs> like, oh, he so, got mad? No, he was just walking. He was walking to me with his hands down. And I just kept tagging him. And he was walking. He was just crazy. And then maybe that's how he warmed up. That's yeah. crazy. And some of the, and bro, he swung so hard. Like if I was like, damn, if what that one would have hit me. Because he was a little shorter. And I was like, damn, if that one would have hit me, he would have got me good. 
There's sometimes that, there's only sometimes been like a little days. That's gotta be scary, like to go up against a box. I know, like even though Tyson Fury has power himself, uh-huh. but to go up against a boxer, like bro, I can't mess up the yeah. whole time. Like you know how I many times I've been tired in boxing classes, yeah. and I'm just like, bro, I'm not picking my hands up. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to. Yeah. Imagine having to yeah. every single moment. I, every time I get tired, I put my hands. I just I rely on my head movement. And I seen Deontay Wilder punch through somebody glove and knock him. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we got ricochet. <laughs> oh God, thank. Thank you for blessing us with guns, man. <laughs> this man Pat, pe- such, pe- sounds like just a violent person man, all the time. People like him will rule the world, bro. <laughs> yeah. If it was just hands, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the boxers be presidents and shit. Yeah, if there's no weapons on earth, how do you think like wars would be fought? Like- man, Tyson Fury be oos, 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 oos. <laughs> that'd be crazy, bro. You think well, who, what country you think is gonna win though? We'll still, you think America will still be the most powerful country if we didn't have any weapons and no one had weapons? Mm. The thing is, I would say probably not. Like, the thing is, what sucks for America is like guns. I'm not, I can't even, it's hard for me to speak for military people, but I feel like it's less pride in guns. You know what I mean? Like, mm. you gotta love your country, bro. Yeah. Like, you can't be. F- so if you're going over a fighting and you just like, I'm fighting you because I, I'm enlisting for, like, we, I'm We would li- lose. That's what I'm saying, because if you're enlisting... Based on numbers. On numbers alone, but because <laughs> people not joining that shit. Yeah. Like, man, it's some people that really won't fight for America unless it absolutely came down to it. So we're not getting the best fighters. We might. There's still people that are going out there Bro, now. The best shooter in Russia shoots for Russia. The best <laughs> shooter in... America shoots for Golden State. Yeah, he probably yeah. shit. It's <laughs> probably Lonnie Walker from the fucking Lakers. <laughs> we never know because he can make a million hooping. Yeah, Russia best shooter shooting. Yeah. Our best shooter is starting shooting guard for the damn Lakers. Like, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> like we ain't even putting our best foot for the army. <laughs> To be honest, <laughs> we got some killers all around here. Yeah. There's some dudes in Chicago with 26 bodies. You could have been doing that for the States, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> you could be number one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, we got to end it on there, man. But, no, nah, but y'all want to make them. Hey, we should just get a dread-headed army, bro. <laughs> no, that's such a stereotype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Anyway, man, you gotta <laughs> go a, dress to be bro. This army. is a violent ass episode. We're gonna get demonetized again. Damn, we is. <laughs> no wars. This is all cap. <laughs> man, let me tell you. Uh, all right, man. This been a ep- quote. Hey, peace and blessings, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> this has to end the podcast into. All right, we were the first gods. <laughs> this has been episode seventy six of Crash Dummy we Podcast. The first gods, <laughs> come on! All right, peace. This has been episode seventy six. Man.